In this video, we're going to talk about hidden fields with Ninja Forms. Now, there's a couple different reasons why you might use hidden fields. And basically what they are, they are fields that our users, when they're filling out the forms, are not going to see, but they're gonna give us some additional information. So whether you wanted to get your user's IP address, or if they were a registered user, you wanted to get some of their profile information, or I think what most people are gonna use it for would be for marketing or lead generation purposes. So let's say that you had multiple lead pages and you wanted to see which one converted better. Now you could set up individual forms for each page, but if we wanted to export those results to another system or a database or something like that, having multiple forms would kind of be a pain. So what we would want to do is part of the form, have it tell us which marketing lead page they were on when they filled out that form. And that's going to let us know which one is converting better. So in order to do that, I'm going to open up our sample contact form. And under our fields, you're going to see this field down here that says hidden. So we just click on that, we add a hidden field, and then we have our default value on the right. And this is where we decide what that field should tell us. So if I click on the merge tag, we have other. And under other, we can get the date, the time, or the user IP address. We can also go into WordPress, and this is where we can choose to have it tell us what URL or what page title it was on. So whatever's gonna be easiest for you to recognize. So we can say post title, or the uh, post ID or the post URL. And we can also get some other information if they're a registered user, such as their first or last name, their display name and other information. But let's go with the post title for now. And then if we click that form and we click publish. So now what we'll do is we'll insert this, insert this form into a page and we'll fill it out so you can see that in action. So this is our sample contact form. I'm gonna go into our pages and let's just go create a, let's just go to this hidden field page that I've created earlier. So now I'm gonna add our form. We're just gonna add our sample contact form, insert and update. Now if I view that on the front end, you can see we don't see the hidden field, but if I fill this out, So now if we hit that submit button, it's gonna process the field. And if we go back into our submissions for Ninja Forms and go to sample contact form, it's gonna show me that it was on the page hidden field, right? So we called that page hidden field and now it's telling me the name of the page that it was on when I filled out that form was hidden field. So you could have that be, you know, as whatever the name of the page is. So if it's, you know, lead page one or lead page two, it's gonna show you what that page is called. And that's how you can tell how good your lead pages are converting. And you can get some other information, like I said. So you can get IP address or email address or anything else if they're a registered user. And so basically how we would use this is we're getting additional information without having to have to bother the user in order to get it. So any form fields that we can prevent our user from having to fill out by getting that information automatically is just gonna, you know, it's gonna hire the chance that they're gonna fill out that form. So we might as well get as much information as we can, especially when it can help us, you know, pick which of our marketing or lead pages is converting better and we can get some performance information there. So that's everything you need to know about hidden fields. You can look around in those merge tags and kind of play around with that and see what you get. And you can also include that information in the email notification to yourself. So when you're in that, so in, when you're in that interface of creating e emails and you're using those merge tags, you can also include those hidden fields. So it's not just in the submission storage where you can get that information. You can also get it in the email that is sent to you. So that's everything you need to know for right now about hidden fields. Check out the next video where we're going to talk about calculating fields within Ninja Forms.